Hello YouTube, Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt here, bringing you guys another review. Yeah, this video I'm about to do a review on, got this out of my Walmart. Yeah, so today's review, we are going over the Playmates toys, Godzilla vs. Kong. Giant Kong, from the 2021 movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. Without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with detail. So you can see some nice detailing around the head. You can see we got nice wrinkling on the eyebrows. We got nice wrinkling on the eyes. We got nice nostrils. There. See so he's got a little bit of a snaggle tooth. You can see the teeth. You can see the teeth in the mouth there. Top of the head got some nice fur detail. You even got the ears on the side of the head. You got the nice ears on the side of the head. The face has some nice details. As you can see that there. Got some nice other oh, point is I got some nice wrinkling around the eyes. Got the nice nostrils which you should have. His beard is supposed to be like a salt and pepper beard, but then add the white highlights in to give that effect. The arms. The arms have some nice details. As you can see that there. They just kind of lost on this arm, but the size of the arms, the size of the arms have the nice fur detail. Got the nice fur detail. We can actually done details on the, on the arms. For the hands, this one's more. This hands one's a cupping pose, but let's put it like that. You can see we got some. We got some nice detailing on the hands. A little bit in the hands. Because a nice detail on the fingers. It's even um fell on the hands, but doesn't like how the fur doesn't go into the fingers. Then it's like that with the other arm. As you can see that there, nice fur details on the arms. So you can see that there, nice, really done fur details. My got playmates etched in every little detail on this figure. And his other hand is in the fist, like he's getting ready to punch Godzilla. See, but the arm, the hands have some nice details in that fist like pose. Now for the chest. And you can see the chest here is smooth, but it's got a little bit of further details in the chest. So you got permanent scarring on the chest, and I got a playmates didn't skip that out. But and you do got some wrinkling right here below his chest here. Now moving to the stomach. The stomach has some nice fur details. Etched in there. Got some nice well really done fur details. Like how the fur etched in the, the, the stomach here. Moving to the legs, they have a nice muscular look. Like how they got the nice furry details in the legs here. Like how they capture that there. Even the knees, the knees have some nice fur details around them. Even on the knees. The feet have some nice details. The feet got some nice furry details here. You see the toes don't have any hair on them at all. And of course the bottom of the feet got some nice details. See the bottom of the feet has some nice details. Playmates we really managed to capture that. There's some copyright information released in 2020. It's got released before the movie came out. Now spinning around at the back, I only make a plain about the back here about the back here. It's got some screw holes in the back. They didn't bother to um cover them up or anything. I did deal with his mega punching counterpart. The top of the head got some nice, got some nice details, even on the back. See the back of the figure got some nice furry details. They have, even on the back of the legs, the back of the legs have some nice furry details. I kind of captured that. Now for paint job, the figure is painted in a matte black finish and a black matte, you know, matte black finish here. <coughs> but as you can see, we got. We got, eye, we got white paint for the eyes, orange for the irises, and black peoples. And of course it's got like a bone yellow, a bone yellow white color for the teeth. Now, just like with my giant Godzilla review, I got this guy on clearance too for $14. Yeah, so I got a good deal on this guy. Yeah, I also got him on clearance for $14, just like with the giant Godzilla. 
you know, see, you see this guy at Walmart, you may, you might get him on clearance, but you never know. I haven't seen the giant Mecha Godzilla on clearance yet. Yeah. See, so yeah, this guy was released for the first set of figures with the, with giant Godzilla. Yeah, but you'll see that here in a minute. Yeah, this figure is really well done. Really well, I like how the paint job looks and the detail looks. So, thumbs up for that, Playmates. Now, for articulation. He's got articulation in the head, but do be careful when moving the head. It is kind of stiff, so don't feel around too much. The arms can move, they can rotate a full 360. Yeah, the arms can rotate a full 360. See, but this arm, this arm can multi can rotate a full 360. And the fist can rotate. Then you rotate a full 360. And even the, his, other, his left fist can rotate a full 360. The legs, they can move. And his feet can move. Straighten his feet out. Yeah, so I told I should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points of articulation on this guy. Not bad. Yeah, so he has nine points of articulation. Pretty good for a playmate's figure. Okay, now we got that out of the way, now we'll see what he looks like next to other figures. Here he is next to Giant Godzilla. As you can see, he scales up perfectly with Giant Godzilla. And go check out my review for Giant Godzilla. Go check that out. See, I see his skills, he scales up perfectly with Giant Godzilla. Here he is next to Giant Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, as you can see, he, he scales up perfectly with Giant Mecha Godzilla. Giant Kong is not too big, he's not too small, he's just right. Yeah, so go, so go on good scale with your Giant Mecha Godzilla. Here he is next to the Jack Specific Godzilla 2019. Now you can see our Jack Specific Godzilla 2019 is bigger than our Giant Kong figure. See, I think they were the same height in the movie. I don't know how to watch the movie again. I think they were the same height in the movie. See, so that's what he looks like next to Giant Giant Kong. And here he is. Here he is next to the Bandai America Atomic War Godzilla 2014. Now look at this. These two scale up perfectly with each other. These two scale up perfectly with each scales up perfectly with each other. And so he'll go a really good scale of your Atomic War Godzilla. They, they scale up perfectly with each other. And here he is next to the Bandai America 12 inch scaled Final Wars Gaingen. As you guys can see, he really don't go on that great scale of your Final Wars Gaingen figure. Because Gaingen's a little small. Yeah, so, yeah, so he, goes, he goes okay with your Final Wars Gaingen. Here he is next to the Bandai America 12 inch scale 12 inch scale Final Wars Godzilla. As you can see he as you can see he almost goes in good scale of your Final Wars Godzilla. Yes it, yeah. He, he almost goes in great scale of your Final Wars Godzilla. These two are almost the same height. Yes, yeah, so this is what it looks like next to Final Wars Godzilla. And finally, here he is next to the 12 inch scale. Mecha Godzilla from Bandai America. As you can see, he won't go on that. He almost goes in good scale with your 12 inch Mecha Godzilla. But on the downside, your 12 inch Mecha Godzilla here is bigger than your Kong, giant Kong figure. Yes, yeah, so he'll almost go in good scale with your Mecha Godzilla. And here's the box for giant Kong. Yes, it is the same from giant Mecha Godzilla and giant Godzilla. Yeah, but the box did suffer some a little bit of damage. Yeah, but the box is great. We got a nice picture of Godzilla and Kong fighting out. Godzilla vs. Kong. Blockbuster movie. Godzilla vs. Kong. Giant Kong. Toho Playmates Toys. Other side. 
Giant Kong. Bottom, Legal Mumbo Jumbo. Other side, Godzilla vs. Kong. And on the back, same as Godzilla's. Same as Godzilla. And one way to end the video by showing you guys all three giant scale figures. So yeah, my thoughts on Giant Kong. My thoughts on Giant Kong. Detail's great, articulation is great, paint job's great, the scaling of the figures is okay. So yeah, so yeah guys, I thought I'd not end the video by showing you guys all three giant scale figures. Anyways guys, this was one my review on Giant Kong. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This was Ghost Godzilla Thunderbolt. Signing off.